So the next thing I'm going to show you guys for your terminal to make it that much more awesome is Tmux. So we're just going to start a session here. So I have a power line at the very bottom and it's pretty freaking cool. Um, as you can see going from the left, it'll show you the number, uh, the number of this Tmux session, a name, so we can rename that right here. We will call it uh, browser. It's the one I'll use to browse around. We will create another one now. And we will call that one. We will call that one. Whatever we'll call it Python, let's say. Right? And then you can switch between them like that. Like this. I'm still new, getting used to this, but there it goes. And then you can go switch between them. Now, another cool thing you can do is split it. So you can go and do something like this. And you have a split, and you can go between them like that. The real cool thing you can do is something like this. You can start up Vim in one of them. Do all your Vim editing in here. Blah, blah, blah. Complicated print script. Right? And then you can do all your edits and changes. And then you just can control B O. Look here, do your browsing in here. You can run commands, so you can go, you can make the script executable, oh, executable, and check to see that it works, and it does, and then you can go back, go back here, write it, commit your changes, and so forth. You can go back and close it if you need be. Yes, I want to close it. Um, you can split it again. Wait, uh, and then you can switch to the next one that's completely separate. It's pretty awesome. Now, another thing you might notice across the bottom is what song that I'm currently playing on audio. That was provided by Steve Lash. Pretty slick script using Apple Script that will go and check audio and get you the song that's currently playing on the app. You have to things like the time and the date and what machine you're currently running on. Let's see if I can remember. You can do things like the time. That'll show you the time in the terminal and you can just get out of there that way simply when you're entering away. Tmux is pretty awesome. You can do other things like connect to somebody else's terminal and help them get through a problem need be. It's pretty awesome and I'd highly recommend using it.